Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about uh, cheating and how it is so common in paper magic. So my proof of cheating is a very logical proof and it's the fact that people who play really well on Magic Online or MTG Arena are not good at paper magic and people who are very good at paper magic are not good at MTG Arena or Magic Online. Uh, the best example of this I have is Autumn. Autumn is not very good at Paper Magic. She has never made a top 8. Uh, she's been playing since Battle for Zencar or um, I forget, maybe Dragon Maze. But she's been playing for some time and she's obviously attended a lot of uh, GPs and then Magic Fest before she was an MPL member. But now she's dominating everyone and I've seen some of her videos and you can see some of, you know, one, I don't want to pick on him but Huey Jensen is just not a very good magic player, it turns out. And there's never been he's never been accused of cheating. He's never been in any of that stuff. But when he plays MTG Arena, all you need to do is watch him for a little bit of time. And then you realize that, wait a second, this is not like a savant of MTG Arena. And there's many other pros that I can name who, after you watch them, Owen, for instance, was not actually very good at MTG Arena. Uh, Owen, I'm talking about Owen Turnerwald. He used to play eight, nine hours a day. And for someone who plays eight to nine hours a day, like he was still making very basic mistakes. Or for instance, Jessica Epstein, who again, no top finishes, uh, or Savise. The fact that a random person who plays Hearthstone, I guess I'll throw it this way. PewDiePie hits Mythic playing MTG Arena. I'm almost certain that the majority of MPL members who are playing full time as if their livelihoods, because they do, depends on it, are not mythic. I've seen some horrendous plays by MPL members that I even I wouldn't make. I'd be like, oh, that's you know, that's really bad. <laughs> so that's my proof and my proof for you at the local game store level is this if the same people are winning every single time and the sing same people are getting luck lucky and they never ever have too much land or too little land and you're always flooding and that's not natural like if you play mtg arena you will know that there are some hands that you kept and look really good and then you just drew land 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 that happens more often than not. That's actual randomization. So people have a misunderstanding of randomization. Randomization is just that. I play lots of gotcha games. So understanding randomization is very important to my wallet. There are some, quote, banners, which is like, you know, let's imagine I'm trying to pull for a character, which I would do very well at. And there's some that I'm going to do very poorly, like below average. You cannot stabilize your luck. Your luck will go up and down and up and down. So for the same people to win Paper Magic all the time, like Yu Yu Watanabe, I was watching a video from Ben Stark who called out Yu Yu Watanabe and saying that he believes that it was premeditated and that he cheated. And the way that Yu Yu cheated with marking free out of the four land is exactly how a cheater would do it. And I guess how he would do it if he was cheating. So don't give me that BS about, you know, the honor system and magic. There is no honor system. There's not even a cheating list anymore. So like, I mean, how much more Blanton can it be? Like if you get caught for cheating, there's not even a public shaming anymore. It's just like, oh, well, well, we'll put you on this private list that no one can see. <laughs> the only way that anyone would know is if they, you stupidly gave them the DCI number that, that we caught you under. Instead of asking for a new DCI number because you wanted to keep your Planeswalker points, which are not able to trade for anything. Okay. So when you deal with um, Paper Magic, and I really, I, I love playing Paper Magic, but I only play with friends now. Because I don't, we don't play for prizes, we don't draft for prizes, there's nothing to win, we're playing just to have fun. There's, I mean, oh, great, you cheated. Now I'm going to kick you out of my home. 
what did you win? Nothing? Okay. So the expected value of cheating at playing at my house is zero, right? Like, what, what are you trying to gain from cheating? It's very sad when I look at it. I used to play Magic at DNA Comics uh, every Friday. I used to go to every single pre-release. Um, I, I no longer do. They don't even have Magic. And I could promote Magic for them, and they would get the audience that they required to become WPN again. But I just don't have the heart to do it. Um, it's very sad. I mean, in my opinion, uh, the saddest part about all this is that it has affected the way I see Magic players. Um, I do get many requests from LinkedIn or my e to my email address or on Facebook for people to run my e-commerce store, which is doing well, by the way. And then they say, oh, I'm a Magic player, and I know Rudy, and I know blah, blah, blah. I could give you references. And it's just very skeptical. Like, now you have to ask them, okay, so you know Rudy. Get Rudy to send me a letter. And, they, of course, they cannot because they don't know Rudy. Um, there are, like, many circumstances where at this point in time, I just look at it and say, you, you know what? If I, I'm old now, I'm like a dinosaur in Magic Ages. If I'm going to spend my Friday night in a smelly, hot place with no Wi-Fi access, even though they have Wi-Fi, they just won't give me a password, playing Magic, the worst case is if they're cheating, because then I'm not going to come back. There's no way I'm coming back to that. Um, there's no reason to, because that's my Friday night. Like I have better things to do now as I'm older, and... And, and the better things are not even entertaining. They're just watching Netflix now. It's like, oh, cool. All the new shows come out on Friday. So in my opinion, uh, the cheating has really, really uh, demoralized me from showing up to a local game store. And all it takes is one cheater because they're going to win all the time. It doesn't make sense. If you play MTG Arena, you will know that randomness and chance has a lot to do with it. There are some hands you open up and it looks great. And then you you don't draw land and you're like, whoa, what's going on here? For eight turns, I mean, this is actually what can happen. So I don't believe that in a 12 or 16 round tournament, you wouldn't run into some bad luck every single tournament. So the whole year Watanabe, I think he's a very good example of someone who supposedly was clean, supposedly was a very good magic player. But the way that he, on camera, in front of a bunch of judges, the way that he marked his cards when he didn't even need to, he was already in the top eight, was premeditated. I agree with Ben Stark. It was premeditated, and this guy has done it before. And if Yuya Watanabe, who was voted in the Hall of Fame in 2016, with Owen Turnerwald, by the way, the only two Hall of Fame members, when you're Hall of Fame, of 2016's Owen Turtlewald and Yuya Watanabe, you have serious, serious cultural problems. Because no one thought that these two people were not like good people. Like, or I mean, one of them was cheating, the other one was accused, quotation mark, of harassment for women. Like, no one did a background check. No one. No complaints came up. I mean, everyone just voted them into the hall. It's very strange to me that these two individuals were voted in the Hall of Fame. And then and then two years later, they both got in trouble. And I don't know if you are still part of the Hall of Fame. I'm assuming that uh, Owen is not, but maybe he is. And they bought so much shame in the community. And that's what cheating does. Cheating... Um, encourages other people to cheat because to beat the cheater you have to cheat even better and uh, that's where we are today in today's society of magic and that's why I no longer play paper magic unless it's with friends I just assume that everyone's cheating and you might think oh that's very pessimistic but you know what you can it can be pessimistic and it can be realistic those two are not those two can go together sometimes anyway Bye, guys.